Um, I think most people are aware by now, but uh, this morning John came in and informed Trevor and myself that he is choosing not to continue as coach of our football club. Um, that's obviously a sad day for the club, uh, given if you think about the fact that John's been with us for 24 of our 27 years, either as a player or as a coach, um, and is an absolute um, legend of this club. So while, while that's sad news for us, um, I think it's important that you know, John recognised that he didn't have the energy and the passion and the enthusiasm and the emotion to keep going. Um, and I think it's important everyone here recognises that coaching a football side at AFL level is an outstandingly difficult commitment and he's been doing that with extraordinary success for over 12 years now. And um, while it's sad for us, it's obviously a new opportunity for us to to build the next part of our um, our future. John, as usual, um, and both Niz and I are huge admirers of John. As a man of great integrity, he's always said to us when he felt it wasn't the right time for him to continue, he would make that call. Um, and when he talked to both of us, he very clearly said that from his point of view, now is the right time for him to move on. And he also felt that the club was in a good position to, to put a new coach into place. So. While we're sad, I think it's also important that we celebrate um, the contribution this man has made to our club. Um, you'll be looking at this club in 100 years' time and Worsfold will be right up there as one of the people that helped build this great organisation and, and helped uh, make it the sort of organisation it is. I, I guess within the football club, um, we made a decision at the start of the year that we'd sort out the coaching at the end of the year. And that was something we stuck to, despite uh, pressure from various media outlets that we should do it sooner or later. Um, John has certainly made that decision himself. We've talked to John right through about um, his future. Um, and the board, in fact, has a process in place that would have concluded by middle of September as to determining the next coach's future or the next coach of this football club. John made that decision independently of the club. and. Uh, I, again, that's that's something that you need to talk to him as to, as to the reasons. But yeah, he's he's basically said, hey, time is right for somebody else to step into the chair. We're just delighted with the contribution he's made over those 12 years as a coach, taking us to a premiership. We've been in the finals uh, for a lot of those 12 years. Um, we're now in a process where we'll put together a process to to find our next next coach. And frankly, we haven't started that because we hadn't uh, you know, finished our determination on, on whether John would be the coach uh, for the next couple of years. So, so that's the process we'll put in place. I'd be quite comfortable. And again, we haven't talked a lot about it, but we should have that in place uh, by the middle of October. Uh, when I talked to him this morning and this talked to him this morning, he was in a good frame of mind and he's making it for the right decisions. Um, and again, I, I want to emphasise that one of the things that's important to John is the future of this football club. So he always said to us that he would step down when he felt it was right for him, but also when it was right for the football club. And he's just got so much integrity and care for this club. Um, we always recognise that. So it was a, it was a very amicable, amicable discussion. Um, he's in a good space and uh, you know, obviously now we've got to find and hopefully we're as successful as we were as the last time in finding a super coach. Well, we've only just told the players because it only happened today. We've just told the staff. Um, I think the reaction will be similar to the staff. They were a bit stunned uh, because we had a process in place and John was still going through the process of doing his reviews and uh, making sure that he had a presentation ready for the board. And I think it just dawned on him overnight and this morning that the time was right now. So the players are probably coming to grips with it now. Uh, albeit it's, it's happened very quickly, but we, like most things, uh, we need to get it out there so that people are aware of, of what's happening and now we need to, to move on quickly. I just see how hard he works and the, um, the time and effort it takes to coach a senior football team um, does take its toll. It's, it's uncompromising and you have to give it everything. You're here all day, every day, every waking moment so I, I think for uh, you know as El said you know I'm I'm not surprised so and I wouldn't it's Johnny's changed his mind yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I'm, I'm not I'm not surprised I wouldn't have been surprised if he had it presented to the board but then said look this is 
my presentation, but you know, my hands up, I'm, I'm going. Um, he was, it's the integrity of the bloke, and it always has been. He's, he's probably the, he's the biggest contributor to the club, full stop, uh, both on and off field, the, the impact he's had with um, not just the player group, but the people, the sponsors, the, the members, the supporters. He's, um, he's an icon and, uh, you know, his, his decision today is uh, a, a historical one. It's something that's you know, pretty unfashionable these days, but, you know, it's, uh, um, it's sad in some respects because we're losing such an icon. Well, maybe we won't lose him from the club, but we'll certainly lose him in a, a, a very senior capacity. Uh, an outstanding person and an outstanding co contributor to our club. The players have a responsibility to respond to their coach at all times and perhaps they didn't respond in the last three weeks. Uh, I'm certainly in Alan's corner. We can't judge uh, a person's performance on three weeks of football. Um, they weren't good enough, those performances, and we understand that. Um, we've been told that by a lot of people over the last week. And we understand exactly what our supporters and members think because they are used to being a successful club and we understand that. We're all under pressure to make sure we produce the results. Our players didn't produce in those last three weeks and that's really disappointing, really disappointing. So we have to remedy that and we'll be looking forward to doing that. It does give us the opportunity to try some new things. Uh, there'll be some turnover of players as you've already seen. We've We've lost six players already. Uh, there's some turnover of staff already. So there's some things that will happen and there will be new ideas, uh, new opportunities, I think, as well. And uh, we'll have some new young faces in the, in the place. I think it's, um, it is a good chance to, to rejig some things, rejig some structures, and we'll certainly be up for that as well. Well, knowing John as I do, he's, he's got an enormous capacity and mental strength to, to get himself up at times. And I think it probably, it dawned on him over the last uh, few days, Pete, that it was time. And he's made a really conscious decision after, as you say, trying to get up, trying to be buoyant again and, and trying to get himself going. He even mentioned that, you know, having a, a break a couple of weeks off still wouldn't help him rekindle the, the fire in the belly that you need for this job. Because if you haven't got the energy and you haven't got the passion to do it, you can't do this job. It's, it's just so tough. Do you think he's lost to football or do you think there's still a place for him in the system? Oh, he'll never be lost to football.